This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Lauren Pastrana. We are learning more about the woman police say is responsible for killing three teenagers. Surveillance video shows 15-year-old Lenz Desir, 13-year-old Gideon Desir, and 17-year-old Rishkar Dume walking down the street in North Miami early Saturday morning. Moments later, you see a car speeding down the street. Police say the driver was 31-year-old Miriam Kolubali and that she was driving drunk and with a suspended license. The body, an adult entertainment nightclub, confirms to CBS4 that Kolubali is a dancer there, although it's not known if she was working there the night before. I can believe some discarded woman, um, drunk, um, or no license, and uh, take my life, take his, my son's life like that. The family's lawyer says her blood alcohol level was nearly twice the legal limit. Kolubali will be booked into jail on three counts of DUI manslaughter and three counts of vehicular homicide as soon as she is discharged from the hospital. A group of migrants are in custody this morning after coming ashore in Pompano Beach. Chopper 4 was over the scene near the Hillsborough Inlet and the Intracoastal. When the migrants reached dry land, they tried to run away, but BSO deputies quickly found them. It's not known where they came from or how long they were at sea. They've been turned over to Border Patrol. A Florida Highway Patrol trooper who was involved in a hit and run crash in Broward has been released from the hospital. Trooper Arsenio Caballero was injured when a driver struck him on the Florida Turnpike southbound exit ramp near Hollywood Boulevard last week. Troopers say they found the vehicle that struck Caballero abandoned but are still searching for the driver. The official start of hurricane season is just around the corner and officials in South Florida are reminding residents to be prepared. Hurricane season gets underway this Saturday, June 1st. Rescue teams are already at work performing drills and exercises in case of an emergency and more than 80 shelters are fully stocked with supplies and hundreds of staff members. After the widespread damage and evacuation during Hurricane Irma in 2017, officials say the key to avoiding disaster is to have a culture of preparedness. Now is the time to get your hurricane kit and emergency plan in order, not after hurricane watch has been announced, which is when everybody starts rushing out to the stores. If you want to check out everything you need to be hurricane ready, CBSMiami.com has a complete guide on the do's and don'ts during the upcoming hurricane season. I'm meteorologist Dave Warren here. Uh, and speaking of the hurricane season, we keep an eye on the tropics outlook, and things are quiet here over the next uh, five days. We show this every day, though, the air during the season, see if anything is developing. But things are quiet now. Uh, so breeze out of the southeast, so we had a few showers and the storms which develop over the interior today, and a little more coming in the forecast tomorrow. So that is the trend here over the next few days, increasing moisture that'll lead to more showers and storms as temperatures climb up to near 90 degrees. Two foot seas, east wind, 10 knots, slight chop on the bays, surface 80. 83, pretty quiet on the water. 89 is our air temperature today. The wind out of the east southeast 10 to 15 miles an hour. And over the next few days, temperatures climb above 90 and better chance for uh, more showers and storms daily occurrence here. That's more typical of a summertime pattern Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Dave, thanks. That's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.